Okay, so here is the phone. Let me get some focus. Okay. Let's start it. Wow, it's one of the brilliant, brilliant looking phones under 10k. The build quality uh, of Nokia is pretty solid. I got the cyan version over here. It's one of the fabulous color you can buy in the market. Okay, let's remove the screen protector. Look at that sound. Okay. So, once you start the device, uh, you have this particular button. Okay, there is basically only one capacitive button. So, it is having uh, the UI component from Windows Phone. It is having a 480 by 800 display, 1 GHz processor, uh, and 512 MB of RAM. The performance is on par. Uh, I'm not able to show how brilliant is the screen quality right now uh, due to my poor camera quality. But if you can notice, the sharpness is awesome. There are some uh, pre games comes which comes bundled with the phone. Okay, right, the uh, Tetris uh, and all Dan Dan Danger Dash ones that do. And the best part is it is running on Android. So let's check it which version it is. In the first glance, uh, this phone actually doesn't look like an Android phone, it just looks like a typical Windows phone. But uh, it's not showing any kind of, uh, I believe, updates or any uh, model or anything which shows Android. But this is an Android phone. The one which I got is a dual SIM version. I just had my hands on this device uh, for about a day and the battery life is awesome. Nokia have uh, done a very, uh, I mean, a brilliant job in optimization. Okay, let's go to some calendar. The phone buttons are on the right hand side like uh, typical Lumia devices. I think I can change the sound. The music quality is on par. See the video quality of this phone. The display is one of the best part of the phone. Under 10,000, you cannot get a display which is so good. For a single-handed user, this phone is awesome. I would recommend to any person who is looking for a cheap, uh, I mean, any kind of cheap uh, dual SIM uh, phones, which is an Android. Uh, but mind you, this is not like complete stock Android or whatever you are getting uh, with a normal phone. It is just one of those phones uh, which might be having a problem while launching some application. So, for example, some games and all, they are just not working. So, you need... Uh, a developer account for this and you need to port your actual apps uh, onto the Nokia X platform okay. and these are the typical apps which are working uh, there are some apps uh, which are available on the play store which will be working fine but um, mostly you have to depend on the Nokia store for uh, getting your particular application okay as far as the quality of the camera goes uh, it's one of the brilliant de uh, devices
so it is having uh, i think the same layout as uh, the windows phone just have one button which uh, i i feel uh, it makes it annoying to use if you are having uh, if you have used an android phone previously and uh, you need to use particular this uh, single button so by default this uh, i mean the notification and all are quite a bit similar okay you can configure your email i think even bbm works but i don't know who will be using it okay uh, thanks for uh, thanks guys for the review, uh, for watching this video have a nice day